Hello everyone. In this video, prepare to pray, prepare to be blessed by the ministry of Apostle Joshua Selman. Let your heart be open, prepare to receive powerful prophetic declarations, and prepare to pray destiny provoking prayers in the year 2024. God bless you as you join and as you listen. It's time to walk in victory. Otherwise, we'll keep quoting scripture and jumping up and down and our lives will not capture this. Can I tell you this? Hear me. I made a vow and a covenant with God. I said, Lord, whatever it is that comes from my bloodline and my family, I obtain grace, even if it's for me to be the sacrifice, that I will fight it with my life, taking advantage of the victory that is in Christ so that everyone that comes from me will enjoy that liberty someone may need to make that commitment and say lord my sincere parents my loved ones may have failed because they did not have knowledge but will you use me as that priest let me be that mediator between the old and the new someone rise up in one minute and begin to pray from the depth of your heart welcome to start now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verses 130, The entrance of thy word giveth life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. Someone pray. Please pray, please pray. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Till there's no fear. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Hear me. I have prayed for a family where all of them mysteriously HIV just manifested in their lives like that. Like from father to children, there was no history of that demonic thing. But everybody like that. I know people who are healthy and sound and fine about to get married they went to do blood tests and they suddenly found out that one person is hiv and the person said i can't there is no way this would have come medically certified when everything scatters they go back and check and you find out they are perfectly sound i like you to pray and say in the name of jesus christ say it say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that no power will contend with my authority. I am a spirit with a mortal body. I am a spirit that submits to the authority of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare. I have dominion in the name of Jesus over the realm of the air the realm of the sea someone is praying shabagata barata gata balaka to shoprondos ekrete ke barato sodo brenda gata balaka dia shakata praska de balaka ta Pray! Something is happening! 
pray something is happening hallelujah hallelujah shout it say in the name of Jesus I take my rightful place on earth as God's steward and I declare Holy Spirit I am in partnership with you every good thing that must manifest from heaven to my life I declare let it be so now lift your voice and begin to pray I take my place I take my place every good and perfect gift assigned by God to find expression in my life in this season I declare I take my rightful place as God's steward on earth. Shabagada bagada bagata brande gade bala zosia. E prakatosh kodo brande gade bala kata. Shabrande gade baruskiata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, every system of authorization working against my life, my family, my destiny, by the blood of the eternal covenant, be silenced now. Open your mouth and pray. Be silenced. Be silenced. Be silenced. Be silenced. Be silenced in the name of Jesus. Systems of authorization fighting your influence, fighting your destiny. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Now, hear me. This prayer you are about to pray many miracles are going to come out of it say in the name of Jesus I declare that this body is the temple of the Holy Spirit therefore every sickness and infirmity in this body programmed to waste my life I command depart now open your mouth and pray depart fibroids depart high blood pressure depart cancer depart someone pray tumors growths depart blood conditions depart hallelujah in the name of Jesus say in the name of Jesus I declare from today that I have a covenant of longevity my body will never separate from my spirit until my time is done every premature separation either by accidents by sickness by the activity of wicked people i cause it right now go ahead and pray no premature separation coming in the form of accidents
Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Please don't be distracted. Jeremiah 22, 29. Please give it to us quickly. Jeremiah 22, verse 29. It says, O earth, 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 hear ye. O earth, earth, earth. It says, hear ye the word of the Lord. The earth is a universal point of contact. The Bible says, as for the earth, out of it comes bread. It says, the profit of the earth is for all. And even the king is fed by that which comes from the earth. I'd like you to pray. Say in the name of Jesus, my portion given to me by God, I decree and declare through the ministry of men, let it gravitate towards my destiny. Open your mouth and pray. God is a God of portions. God is a God of portions. Pray. God is a God of portions. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, every negative inheritance that has been transferred to me by those who were before me, I decree and declare by the blood of the Lamb, I reject it right now. I reject it. Go ahead and pray. Every negative inheritance, inheritance, that has come as untimely death negative things closed doors i reject it someone pray i reject it i reject it i reject it in the name of jesus i reject it Abagada Baragos, Abrakatos Kateba Lakatesh. hallelujah listen the implication of having dominion over the realm of the air the realm of water the realm of earth is that no element that comes from these sources should work against you are you getting what i'm saying now judges i, I, I was quickly trying to look for the scripture Judges chapter 5. I hope I get it right. Let's look at 19 and 20. This was Deborah and Sisera. Judges 5. The kings came and fought. I hope I got Then fought the kings of Canaan in Tanakh by the waters of Megiddo. And they took no gain of money. Verse 20. Yes. It says they fought from heaven. The stars in their courses fought against Sisera. Can I tell you, the elements of nature 
can hearken to the voice of those who know their God and can stand in partnership. Hold on. That means if someone goes to use the earth against me or pronunciations that go through the wind or water, provided is one of these elements, did the Bible not say the sun shall not smite you by day nor the moon by night? Say in the name of Jesus. I speak to the elements of creation. Hear the word of the Lord. Walk in partnership with the Holy Spirit and the word of God for my favor, for my destiny, not against me. Open your mouth and begin to pray. The elements of the supernatural. I decree and declare the Son shall not smite me by day the moon shall not smite me by night the scourging tongues of men shall not catch up with me i have dominion over the air dominion over the sea dominion over the earth pray hallelujah hallelujah don't be tired Genesis 1 from verse 20 I want to show you something about the mystery of this water you see are you ready and God said let the waters do what bring forth abundantly so water is connected to abundance and water in scripture means men too are we together it is not just about physical water water is also prophetic and symbolic of men it says let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that had life the fowl that it may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven 21 let's read together one to read and god created the great whales and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly. Hold on. We are going to declare the prayer of abundance. Waters here does not mean going to do enchantment with water. Water here means men. Are we together? Water. Prophetic. That means everybody's abundance is in the hands of men. And the Bible says God can issue a command and those men can release it abundantly say in the name of Jesus I decree and declare the abundance a sign for my life for my assignment through the ministry of men I declare let it be released unto me go ahead and pray let the waters bring forth abundantly Someone pray, someone pray. Let the water spring forth abundantly. Shabragadeba lagata proskoto balando shaliatas.
Hallelujah. Psalm 79 verse 11. Psalm 79 verse 11. Let the sighing of the prisoner come before thee. According to the greatness of thy power, preserve thou those that are appointed to die. Death is an appointment. I can reject an appointment that you give me. We can fix an appointment for 12 and I can choose to reject it. Is that true? Please look up. For there to be an appointment, it means there must be some sort of consent, even if not mutual. There has to be an awareness. Okay, you go to apply for a visa, you expect an appointment. There is an understanding between you and the, the, the consular officers that there is an appointment. So when the Bible talks about an appointment, it means someone represented you for that appointment to be fixed, even if you are not there. Like a man can go to get an appointment for all his children, and they just know that your appointment is on the 25th. So when the Bible says there are people appointed to die, it may be that they, through ignorance, have signed in for that appointment, or someone before them already made the appointment. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every appointment, whether by covenant, whether by ignorance, or by disobedience, with the spirit of death, I decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant. Help them, please. Let it be canceled now. Open your mouth and pray. By the greatness of your power, preserve those who have been appointed to die. Someone pray by the blood of the eternal covenant. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We have one last prayer. Please look up. And this prophetic prayer is dedicated to Nigeria. Listen carefully. You see this onslaught of terrorism and the rest? Go and read the book of Esther. You will find out that Haman and the plotters of evil, they consulted by divination and they were given a date when they will attack. I can tell you this for sure. No terrorist attacks at will. No. They consult with the constellations and they make incantations until the heaven gives them a go. That's why it looks like it is effortless, regardless army, regardless whatever. I say it with all due respect to all the forces who are doing their best. But there has to be a spiritual advantage. Can I tell you the truth? If you approach spiritual things just with your head knowledge or with strength, you will be a victim of several casualties. It is not like Satan and terrorists are so powerful. Their advantage is not in their physical armory, I tell you this. Their advantage is that they have mastered through divination the art of manipulating the realm of the spirit. And it is good for us to pray, but for God's sake, prayer in ignorance is the same thing as not praying. Hallelujah. So they set a date. And even though her man was dead, the decree of the date for destruction still continued. It took another decree to change it. The Bible says where the word of a king is, he says there is power. He said, declare ye that thou mightest be justified. If you refuse to plant in a farm, something will still grow. The name is weed. In elementary science or agriculture, they define wheat as weed as unwanted. Are we together? Unwanted plants. While men slept. Hear me. 
we are going to make decrees. Every element of the supernatural that has been manipulated to work supporting evil and death and bloodshed in this nation, in this city and around. Please don't say it does not concern you. Don't make the mistake of Esther. When her man was plotting evil, Esther was enjoying the delicacy of the palace and Mordecai sent a warning. He said, do not think if you are silent that when they are done with us, you will be spared. For you do not know whether it is for such a time as this. Everyone who has been kidnapped, even those killed, they were sincere people who got up in the morning just like you. Don't forget that you have not, you have not stopped moving. You too move out in the morning and in the night. So don't say it does not matter. Shout this from the depth of your heart. Say in the name of Jesus. I take my place. As one who has authority. And I decree and declare. The spirit of bloodshed. The spirit of terrorism. The spirit of oppression around our land the spiritual power that supports you we break it right now go ahead and pray the covenants that support you be broken the altars that support you be broken the enchantments that support you be broken the priesthood that supports you be broken. We prophesy to the north. We prophesy to the south. We prophesy to the east. We prophesy to the west. In the name of Jesus, we declare the ministry of angels. May they excel in strength by the word of the Lord. We declare this by the decree of the watchers. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is no rest and no peace for evil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me just add this one last one. You are going to declare prophetically safety and preservation over everyone who is connected to you. Listen, listen. You have to reject bad news between now and December. You, you, your, your destiny is not ready for some kind of news that will depress you and waste your time. It is within your power. Yours is to stand in your position with your delegated authority and with understanding and to make decrees are we together you are going to mention the name of everyone including yourself and declare the bible says the name of the lord is not only a weapon of victory it is a strong tower the righteous can enter and they are saved begin to mention the name of your loved ones your spouse your children your parents lord we declare covering prophetic covering they are exempted from the arrows that fly by day exempted from the noisome pestilence the destruction that wastes in noonday a thousand shall fall by your side ten thousand by your right side none shall harm you with your eyes will you see and the reward of the wicked hallelujah let me make one decree over your life and we're done revelations 3 and verse 8 revelations 3 and verse 8 let's start from 7 and 8 revelations 3 to the angel of the church in philadelphia write these things 
Say it, he that is holy, he that is true, and hath the key of David. He that openeth, and no man. Did you see that? So who are those that shot? Who are those that shot? And who are those that open? He had the key of David. He opened it. That means if you don't have the key of David, you can open a door that a man can shut. You can shut a door that the man can open. But it says he that had the key of David. And by the mystery of the key of David, that a door can be opened that no man can shut. And shut and no man can open. Verse 8. He says, I know thy works. Behold, I who has the key of David, I have opened before thee. He says, I have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it. Because I acknowledge that you have little strength. Yet with your little strength, you have kept my word and you have not denied my name. I stand in partnership with the Holy Spirit. And according to Revelation chapter 3 from verse 7 and 8, I decree and declare upon you that door that has been set may it be open and remain open doors of favor be open and remain open doors of lifting be open and remain open doors of restoration be open and remain open doors of opportunity be open and remain open Doors of speed be open and remain open. Hear me. I release this prophetic word. Let it follow you like your shadow. That any human vessel in partnership with any spirit that wants to shut this door, may this prophetic word judge them. I say it again. Any human being that wants to shut the door that the holder of the key of David has opened, Makesh Kalibarata Siata, may this prophetic word judge them. Some of you, by reason of these open doors, things that have been hanging that you have just been seeing but will never come to your hand in the name of jesus let it enter your hand finally for in jesus name we pray please wave your hands to jesus